Hello and welcome back to the USL online application tutorial. My name is Abdul BCC and we are going to continue with the application process from where we left off in the last video. So without any further ado, let's get started. As I mentioned in the last video, we are still in step 1 and now we have an additional field to enter the OTP code I talked about in the previous video. So let's go to our email address and retrieve the OTP code. For Gmail users, simply click on the link above and this will take you directly to your inbox. So again, this is very very important. If you do not see the welcome to student portal message, it's probably because of some security um, policies being implemented by either Google, the service provider, or you, the account holder, to filter certain email message deemed to be a spam. And such messages would be filtered into the spam folder. So if that is the case for you, simply scroll down and locate your spam box. Click on spam and you should see the following email. This email contains the OTP code we need for us to continue with our online application. Click to open the email and I suggest you report such email coming from the online portal as not spam. This would educate this, the system to always treat emails coming from the portal as legitimate and the subsequent messages would be placed directly in your inbox. So let's do that now so this particular email would be moved to our inbox so we can copy the OTP code directly from there. Let's paste the four digit code and assume everything is ok and click on save and continue. So we waited and nothing happened and that was deliberate. That is because we need to re-upload our profile image again. Please don't forget this part or you would be stuck here forever. So it's all good now. Let's click save and continue and move to step 2. Okay, so we are now in step 2. Here we are going to choose our choice of program and fill in the rest of the other details required. Next, choose the college of your choice. Course 1 here means the course you intend to study whilst courses 2 and 3 are optional but are recommended. Again, I need to throw in some light on this section cause sometimes I come across a lot of students that do not understand this hierarchical division and trust me I'm not exaggerating there are a lot of them it may or may not be their fault so try to grasp this concept at this stage once and for all so here at IPAM the highest level of academic division for undergraduate is the faculty level as of the recording of this video we only have two active faculties and they are the Faculty of Management Sciences and the Faculty of Information Systems and Technology. Faculties are further divided into departments and a department can offer one or multiple courses. Each course is unique to a department and each department is unique under and to a faculty. But don't worry too much about that for now. I advise you do more research on that later. So here on the faculty, I would choose information systems and technology. On the department, I will go with information technology and BSc information technology as my preferred course of study. So let's continue to fill in the rest of the optional courses. But remember that you can choose a course only once, which means you cannot duplicate a course while filling the form. I will fast forward this part to save some time. So let's continue with the rest of the other fields. For now, the only type of program available is full-time. So click on full-time. Next, parents, guardian, next of kin. This section is self-explanatory and all fields in these sections are compulsory. So make sure you fill them correctly.
When you're done, click save and continue. I will see you in the next video.